In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your Epson Workforce 4830 or 4820 printer that is printing the blank pages. For example, if you are just trying to print and if nothing comes on the printout, that means you need a print head cleaning. Print heads are clogged, ink is jammed. And to fix that issue, first we have to switch on the printer, go to the printer display panel. So first we will check which ink is not working. So scroll ahead and click on the maintenance. Select print head nozzle check and click on the start button. So right now we can see the whole page is blank. That means there is nothing. It will ask you check the printed pattern and select the closest result. So we will select the X and then it will give you the option clean the print head click on the start button this is the initial cleaning it will take around two minutes it may take let's print the nozzle check sheet start There is no success at all. Again we click on the X. Click on the start. Now again it's going to run it for 2 minutes. Just try it for couple of times. If that doesn't work then we will go for the manual print head cleaning. So this is the second time. So I'll just wait for the print results. Maybe it will start printing something. Print head cleaning is done. Let's print the nozzle check sheet again. Hopefully it will work now. Oh, here we have the success. So three of the inks has started to work. That means if we go for the third cleaning, it may start to work properly. So let's do that. And in the end, I'll show you how to do the manual print head cleaning. So let's do the third. So select X, start. Another three minutes. So now it's gonna clean it for three minutes. So it just depends. I think the printer has inbuilt software where it goes from two to three minutes. So let's see the result after that. Sometimes if we are not using our printer for weeks or months, the ink get clogged on the print heads and it won't print anything. And it looks like the ink is dry or maybe the we need a new cartridge. But we should be doing the print head cleaning first just to make sure like there is a ink and we can still use that. If everything doesn't work then we have to buy the new ink cartridges and we have to print with that. So we have done the cleaning for the third time. Let's print the nozzle check sheet. Hopefully all the inks will start to work now. So we can clearly see all the three inks has started to work and still we have some dotted lines on the print that means if you want you can do one more cleaning and it should be good to start but let's do the manual print head cleaning a little bit so that we get the print result quickly now we can just select O and that means we don't need any more print head cleaning
to do the manual print head cleaning we have to unlock the print heads so go to the home screen and then go to the maintenance now scroll down and look for the ink cartridge replacement and click on the start button it gives you an idea how much ink is left in each ink cartridge all the ink cartridges are showing up here so let's start with the let's open it lift it from here and we can see ink cartridges move and come into the position to clean the print head now we have to remove all the ink cartridges press it one by one and take it out print head is locked under this section now take a tissue paper strong tissue paper spray some water on it and then place it here move this print head over it so it should come on the other side and that will actually clean the print head now you can just rub it here like this move it like this or you can just grab this paper from both sides and just try to clean it so here we can see the cleaning result so right now we can see we have cleaned it with the damp tissue paper you can also use a fine damp cloth to clean it once you have done it place all the ink cartridges back just place it here and press it down it will lock itself and even after this if your printer is not printing anything other than the blank pages that means you need to replace the ink cartridge if any of the ink is not working you can just replace it close this section so place this door down go to the printer display panel this is going to initialize the ink system it will give you the message replacement is complete and now we can scroll down and click on the print head nozzle check and click on the start so let's check the test result we can see all the inks has started to work properly the lines are really few and we can just click on the o and home screen so this way we can fix this printer that is printing the blank pages thanks for watching